YouTube, what is up guys? Today we got another yo-yo trick tutorial. First one of the new year. And today I'm going to teach you guys a really cool bind that you can do at any of the end of your tricks, your combos. I just did it right there. Here it is by itself. I do this in a lot of my combos. I do this all the time. And there's been a lot of people ask if I can show how to do it. So today's the day that we're going to show how to do this. This is real easy. It's basically just the mix of two tricks put together. And you can use it. Uh, like how I use it most of the time to end a trick, or you can use it in the middle of a combo to get um, another regen out there. So you could do it like this also. So you could throw it like here, and then throw back out, go right back into your trapeze, stuff like that. So once again, you could either throw it, just to end your trick and catch it, or it's a good way to get another throw out there uh, for more side style tricks. So it's something really nice that you can just throw in really wherever you see fit. Now going into this, you're going to want to know how to do this bind already. I believe this is called, uh, what is it, an undermount crossover or something like that? So you're going to want to know that one right there. And you're also, well this part you don't really have to know already, but this is, it's just basically you're doing that bind that I just showed you. Then you're also going to do a little stall region. So this uh, was really common from like Yuki Spencer kind of made this popular back in like the early 2000s. But you can, if, you're, if your yo-yo is going side style, like you threw a breakaway, it's spinning horizontally with your body. You can, when you bind it, you can always like catch it on the top of your hand like that. Um, and then you could, you know, you could even like change directions, go the other way and throw it back out. Um, or you could just do what I'm doing most of the time here. And I just throw it right back out from there. So basically, I'm just doing that stall, but instead of like letting it sit on top of my hand, I'm just throwing it back out, but I'm throwing it like this. So instead of trying to catch the yo-yo and throw it back out, like instead of a traditional regeneration, like where you throw it back out like that, you're going to change the direction of the yo-yo. Because when you do it this way, the yo-yo is still going um, side style, kind of, for, if you do it properly. Uh, but here, we're kind of making the yo-yo go front style now, so now it would be better for tricks like boingy boings and stuff. And this is also a great maneuver if you want to go, you know, from a side combo to a front style combo very easily. Or once again, some Yuki Spencer would do this a lot in stage because he would be like facing this side of the audience, this side of the judges, and let him, he would like stall it and go over here, face this side of the crowd uh, and continue his combo. You know, it's just something really cool that you can add in wherever. But for learning the second part, what I would do is I would start the yo-yo just spinning really, really slow. Like, so it'll barely come up to your hand and you want to practice just catching it on your hand like that. Okay, and then from there, just throw it back out. Okay, and practice just doing that um, separately. And then once you get the hang of doing that separately, then start doing it where you just throw it back out right away. Okay, so from here, then just throw it back out. Okay, and then once you get the hang of both of them, just put it with that original bind. So you could be doing a combo, doing a trick, or for learning it, just start off just having the yo-yo go by itself. Do your undermount crossover bind, and then just throw it back out. And then you can bind it however. Or you could go into you know, a combo of some, si some sort, or really whatever you want. The possibilities are endless. Uh, this is really fun, and once again, not that hard. And you know, it adds a little flair. So here, let me show you a slow-mo from every angle. Let me try the new slow-mo feature on uh, this camera. And uh, let's uh, see if we can get you learning this trick. But I got my faith in you.
All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you learned this trick, do it on your Instagram, do it on your Facebook, or do it really wherever, tag me in it. I always love seeing people do the stuff that I taught them in videos. It really warms my heart. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you had a great time. Hopefully you got the trick down. Um, take care of each other. Godspeed and party on.